Hello everyone and welcome to Chef Du Jour. I'm JK with JK Chef Collection. I am a private chef matchmaker. Now my job is to connect aspiring and accomplished chefs with families throughout the United States that want to experience the luxury of a private chef cooking in their very own kitchen. Now, today on Chef Du Jour, we're gonna peek into what it's like for a chef to cook for a family for the very first time. On today's episode, Chef Thatcher, who I've carefully chosen, who has worked in many restaurants in the United States as well as he's cooked with families from LA to New York. Now, Thatcher's challenge is to create an unbelievable event. Cocktails, canopies, a three-course dinner, and the most important thing is everybody should have a great time. Now, when I match private chefs with families, there are two ingredients that I personally look for to make this happen. Number one, is the chef must really like the family. He has to feel comfortable, he has to feel like he could cook in their kitchen lunch and dinner five days a week. And likewise, the family has to like the chef, and most importantly, he really has to love the meal. Now, without further ado, let's find Chef Thatcher Downing in the tasting kitchen and come with me. So, hello, chef. Hey, how are you doing, Jacob? I'm doing really well. So we're here. The Bradford should be arriving in just a few minutes, and um, you know, I please do. tell me about them. Well, I know a lot and I know a little. Um, I know that Michael Bradford recently got engaged to Michelle Benoit, who he's been with for many years, and their son Mikael, who I think is, is in his last year at Columbia University, is hosting this this dinner tonight. Mikael, not a foodie. He's not a foodie. That's all I want to say. And I'm really hoping that you can take him over the culinary bridge and get him really excited about food. Sure. Michael loves food and he's a little OCD, so you may have to slap him on the wrist and tell him to behave himself. I have no worries. Yeah, I'm not worried. So listen, um, oh, by the way, what am, what am I smelling? Oh, uh, I burned a, or I had a candle going, uh, I was frying something earlier. Is it vanilla? It is vanilla. Okay. This is my biggest pet peeve on the planet Earth in a kitchen. A chef's food is all about flavors, aromas, and a vanilla scented cancel does not have a place anywhere. Do you mind? Sure. No, please. Okay, I'm gonna blow this baby out. So, I'm gonna scoot, this should be here in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you later. All right, I'll pop in, bye-bye. Hey Bradfords, I'm in here. You must be the chef. Hey guys, how you doing? Hi, I'm Michael Bradford. This Pleasure. is my family. My fiance nice Michelle Benoit. Nice to meet you. My son Mikel. And I Pleasure. hope you have enough food. We brought along his physics tutor, Drew. Ah, uh, no problem. Nice to meet hey, you. Hey, how are you? Well, amazing. thanks guys. Welcome. I have some uh, Cosmos here for you and some lovely lamb kebabs. Please dine in. The pass is over to you. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And your name is? Uh, I'm Chef Thatcher Downing. So nice to meet you, Thatcher. Pleasure, everyone. Welcome for coming. How is that, Michelle? It's amazing. The lamb is so tender. I just, I think it's a little spicier, but it's, it's good. Smooth. Okay. okay. These are great. Michelle, did you notice how clean this kitchen is? I am so impressed. I have a little bit of an OCD issue, but I thought I was the only one who could keep a kitchen clean like this. It's pretty impressive. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I like to consider myself a kitchen ninja, where I make this wonderful meal and then I clean up and I'm gone, never even there. That's just like what I do, Michelle. When we have parties and people leave, there's nothing left in the kitchen. It's fine. That's, that's how it should be. Is, is something okay? I see you kind of fiddling with the uh, meat over there. You, you all right? Well, it's uh, only different than what we usually have. Uh, uh, what do you think, Drew? I mean, I think it's amazing. I mean, I was in Austin. Uh, two weeks ago for my brother's bachelor party and we went to this food truck with amazing lamb kebabs. I didn't think anyone could beat it, but I think you're the you're the grand prize. I'm, I'm going for a second one. Uh, thanks, appreciate that. I got it a little spice. I have uh, my own little blend. I carry it with me everywhere I go. It's delicious. Okay. Watch out for that, Thatcher. It'll put hair on your chest.
All right, guys, what I'm gonna make next for you is a lovely burrata. And with the burrata that I like to make, I use um, a buffalo mozzarella, it comes from Campania. It's silky, it's tender, it's just the best type of burrata you can make, um, in, my, in my opinion. Other chefs may say something, but that's just me. So um, what I like to do is I just sit there and I just cut it in half. Just look how so tender, so gentle. You just take that guy, and just put that right there in the middle. So once we get those guys nice those situated. Are beautiful. Yeah. You know, chef, I make a sinful burrata with peaches, fresh peaches, in season tomatoes, and a little bit of chili powder. Chili powder. Interesting. Okay. It'll put hair on your chest. Or fall out. I'm taking you like spice. Is this is this correct? I do like things with a lot of flavor. Yes, a little heat, a little extra something. That's that's very interesting to to know. But you know, also um, without spice is a lot better too. So what are you doing today? So uh, mind my lovely gloves I have here. I have um, these beets that like to bleed color. So I don't want to get them all over my hands. Otherwise, I'm going to look like an axe murderer. <laughs> It resonated for me because I was thinking about my OCD, so I'm feeling good about germs and things like that. No, I'm, I'm as clean as clean can be, guys. You'll see this. So as I'm sitting here, I just like to make things pretty. Color on a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, you always go last with the red beets. That way, the bleeding of them won't get everywhere, and you can just get rid of your gloves, and you're good. See, you do that, and that's what happens. That's okay, though. Quite a quick little wipe, and that would be perfect. Just do that, wonderful. So I'm just gonna get rid of these now because I don't have to worry about that anymore. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my uh, sunflower seeds here. Just put a little bit on each side. See, my flavors are very simple, very light. Don't really need much. Adds a little crunch, a nice little balance to it. Next, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of uh, reduced balsamic. I like to use um, a balsamic from the Madeira region just because it's lovely, it's beautiful. And a little goes a long way. Then we're gonna take a little pinch of salt, hit it with everything, just a nice little add a flavor, just in case the cheese can be a little under seasoned. You wanna be able to add some salt to it, uh, kick it up a notch in that aspect, as they say. And then I'm gonna just throw a little bit of arugula around it. Add some fun colors, adds a little pepperiness. A little nice texture. We'll see. I've got my own little stash in my bag. It's interesting what you're telling me about this. I never leave home without it, Chef Thatcher. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so I'm topping these uh, little micros off just to make it a little prettier, a little fun. And then a couple little basil leaves. Basil is going to make it nice, give it an extra little uh, depth of flavor. People love the burrata. People love basil. And then last but not least, I have these lovely, delicious black truffles that come from uh, Burgundy, actually. So we're just gonna take a couple of those, put those all over, make it beautiful, make it nice. And the best part too is you just put them all the way around, you know? You don't just eat food with your or with your you know your hands. You eat it with your eyes. You eat it with your nose. You eat it with your uh, all your senses. It's just it's a continuous just beauty of how you eat food. And so I'll throw another one there. And as they say, waste not, want not. So let's just throw those there. All right, guys. So this is uh, your lovely burrata dish. We'll see you at the table. And up next is going to be my great short rib dish. This table looks beautiful, right? I it's, mean, every attention to detail, these goblets are personalized with our name on it. It's so sweet. This is so amazing. Yeah. Now, what's this called again? This is burrata. Uh, and what are these little scaly things? <laughs> Those are truffles. Oh, truffles, of course, of course. We this are up first in your course game. is terrific. You can literally taste every ingredient that Chef Thatcher described earlier. Mm. Just terrific. Everything is so fresh. 
I've never tasted Brata before. This is orgasmic. Too much information. Changing topic, uh, how's that studying going for your exam, physics, um, Drew? Yep, we got, next Tuesday we got your exam, um, so we're getting him there, but he's come a long way, so I, you know, I'm really proud of him. <laughs> Consider this brain food, this will make you smarter. <laughs> I like to see you absolutely. eat like this. Yes, absolutely. We ready to head to the next course? I'm ready, Ooh. this is, everything mm. is just spectacular. It's perfect. Well, I want to save some room for the next course. So I'll start oh. clearing those plates for us. It was so good. Can you yes, thank you. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 please. Let me, that's, that's my job. That's what I'm here for. Actually, this is what I normally do, though. Right? No, no, please. You sure? Yeah, I'll take this, this off my awkward. step. Uh, no, please sit. Thank you. Who's coming on the next round? Great. Looking forward to those short loops. Yes. So for my next dish, guys, I'm doing a lovely short rib. In the fall time, short ribs are the main thing you want to eat. It's nice, it's hearty, great protein. Today, what I did was I did a short rib that was about eight hours braised. Braising is where you sear something, uh, add liquids to it, and then throw it into the oven for a very, very, very long time. And that's the best way to do short ribs because they are a little bit more uh, tough in the meat. Um, so you have to have a nice like long cooking aspect for it. And what I'm doing with it is a nice whipped basic potato. I'm doing some sauteed broccolini and then I'm also doing the short ribs with a nice um, red wine reduction. So I'm going to show you how I'm just going to plate it up real fancy real quick and then we're going to get it on the table for the guys. So these are my lovely mash. Simple, plain, but delicious. The best thing about food, simplicity. Simplicity is key. You don't have to have crazy things to make things nice. All right. So that's that. Next up, we're gonna take our lovely broccolini here. And this again, just simply sauteed. A little bit of shallot. You can use basic onions, you can throw some garlic into it. A little white wine if you wanna get really fancy, but this is just basic salts. It's good for uh, people who are on diets, um, low sodium diets, things like that. Make it really nice. Give everybody a little bit extra greens, you know. Next, I'm gonna throw my lovely short rib on there. And see, I like to keep the bone in. Some people aren't fans of it, but I find it gives more flavor, adds a little bit more depth. Plus, if you have a dog at home, they get the bone. Everyone's got pets. And doing another piece of the braised short rib I did in a different fashion, different cut. And last but not least, lovely, lovely sauce. There's nothing better than a nice sauce and a short rib. Dip it in the mashed potatoes. only because it just makes everything look pretty. You know, and the best part about little rainbow mixes, they have all kinds of different flavors. You got a little bit of radish in there, you got a little bit of Swiss chard, a little amaranth, you got uh, some celery, wasabi, you know, just these little rainbow mixes are great. Also what's great is that I used a lovely Cap Frank in this from the Shannon Daughters. So, and also a great thing that came with this uh, braised short rib is I used a Cap Frank from uh, Shannon Daughters out in Bridgehampton, New York. I try to like to stay local. Uh, it makes makes things a lot better when you're uh, as, as close to the product as you possibly can be. So, um, kudos to them. So, uh, let's get this on the table and uh, see what they enjoy. Give these short ribs a try. You know, gotta get everything the way I like it. Here come the spices. <laughs> These short ribs are amazing. Yes, I mean, they I are. haven't had all right off the bone. Yes, I mean, I haven't had these in so long. I'm so excited. Mm. You should hire Thatcher as our family chef. I love cooking for you all. I, I love you too, but um, 
sometimes your food's just a little bit too spicy. And I arranged this dinner so we could all have a nice family gathering. I'm glad that you did it, but let's stop. We love your cooking, Michelle, but I'm enjoying having family time where I'm not in the kitchen the entire evening and having friends with us as well. I could lay off the spices, I just didn't know. Well, thank you. So, hello, hello. Hello, Jack. Well, talk to me. What are we thinking? It's exquisite. Yeah, we love Chef Thatcher. Why, tell me why. We love his attention to detail, the ingredients, a little bit less spice than what we're used to. And we- Handle that, Michelle. We, <laughs> we have an idea, Jack, that okay. we'd like to propose. Michelle, this is what we're thinking. Maybe, could we get Thatcher three days a week? Three days a week, possibly. This way I could have my family together, joining yeah. us for dinner, and- Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think we can make that happen. So, let me go find Thatcher. Let me tell him about all of the wonderful comments, and then I'll get back to you. How about that? Work your magic shake out. Okay, got it. <laughs> See you later, just in a little bit. Thank you so Thank much. You. How this works out. I think it could be great. I love seeing you all drink and eat like this. <laughs> all right, guys, for our final uh, lovely treat for this family, I did a classic tiramisu. Now, this is a no bake tiramisu, which is very simple. It's just egg whites, sugar, and uh, lady fingers and mascarpone. The key is, is that with an Italian dessert, it's supposed to be boozy. That's, that's how I was taught how to make this, that's how you're supposed to do it. So this is a little on the kick side, so they're gonna sleep well tonight, so. Very simple tiramisu, make it so nice, very delicious, very light. All right, let's get this on the table. They're really gonna love it. Hello everyone, it's JK and I'm back again and I think we have a winner. I'm not sure, but I think. The family just loved Thatcher. They loved his personality. They loved his food. They loved his manner. They thought he was natural and real. So that's all good. My only concern is Thatcher. I'm not 100% sure that he's gonna buy into this family. Now there were some minor issues, not major, but minor issues. Um, Ed was a little OCD, but kind. Michelle, was wonderful and I didn't know how he'd handled all of her spices so we'll have to see how that kind of plays out. Mikhail's not a great eater so you know Thatcher needs to enjoy his day-to-day -day cooking so I think we just have to see and talk to him and hopefully we have good word. So no leaving me suspense. How'd it go? Well um, I have news. So I talked to the family at length and they love everything about you. They love your food, they love your personality, they love your smile, they love the way you, you deal with them as individuals. And I think that's really, really key. So what they wanna do, they wanna offer you three days a week, maybe a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which would leave your weekends free for other opportunities. So what do you think? Well, I think that it could be a good fit. Uh, Michael's OCD is a, is a little there, but I'm a clean chef anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Uh, Michelle's spice uh, uh, <laughs> love, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah. Um, we can taper that down a little bit. But I think so. I think we can work with that. Okay. And then uh, Mikhail's um, just finickiness, that's that simple because he got engaged, he liked what he was eating today, so I think that's a big step. I know, he bit the cheese. Exactly. That's a good thing. All right, well listen, they're gonna be so excited and congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. All right, All we'll right. talk soon. Take right, care. Take care. Bye-bye. At least you're legal, so you can eat this cake yes. and have the wine with us. Absolutely. I just love seeing you eat like this. And Drew, I'm so happy you're here with us today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. What a pleasure. You just completely awesome. changed my perspective of food. Yeah. Thatcher did not disappoint. We can definitely study to this all day. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means an A. Oh. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen <laughs> after this dinner. We have until mm. next week, so next we'll week. hit the bucks. Three more times, right? That's right. <laughs> JK. Hey. Hello. 
Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're Hello. eating the suspense. Yeah. So we can't wait to hear what Thatcher's decision was. We talked for a while, back and forth, back and forth, which is what I like to do. And the verdict is he's in. Great for three days a week. He'll start tomorrow, but I didn't know when tomorrow. he wanted to, to begin. We'll take tomorrow. Him. Yeah, tomorrow. 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 Excellent. So congratulations. I'm really happy. And I only have one request. You invite me to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course. Right. You're on the guest list. Great. Great. We'll talk soon. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to us. A new private chef and an A on the physics exam. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll make sure of it.